first witnessed factory farming 17 years ago and the conditions the animals were in were obscene. Animals are treated like machines purely for profit. In all the years that I've been connected with the agricultural and food industries of Great Britain, I am completely convinced that there is no deliberate cruelty in the humane slaughter of animals for human consumption. It is my belief that money never excuses cruelty. I also believe that a vegetarian diet is much healthier and that it is central to stopping environmental destruction and world hunger. To me, meat-eating is still one of the great pleasures of life. Hello. Hello. <coughs> and how are you? I'm uh, fine. Great. Now, I know what you're going to do with me, my dear. You're going to attempt to castigate and condemn this canny old Geordie Nusumbrian when I categorically state that there is no cruelty whatsoever in the preparation and the processing of lambs, sheep, chickens, cattle, pigs, processing and preparing all these wonderful meaty animals for the three meals a day and a bit of supper for Mrs. Great Britain, Mr. Great Britain, not forgetting the bairns. Absolutely wonderful food, providing the essential nutrients we need for healthy life and living. I think that most people in Britain, or certainly many more people in Britain today, are aware that there's an awful lot of cruelty in modern um, agricultural methods. Not really, my dear, I, not I just, really. I'll just give you an example of things I, that I've seen um, for myself. Yes. I first went vegetarian many years ago now. In fact, I was only 15 at the time. Rather and young I've, to make a definite decision, was it Yeah, not? it yes. was. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, I went round what's known as a battery unit, a battery really? hen farm where the hens are kept for eggs. One of the most comfortable and humane ways of producing nutritious eggs 365 days of the year in the cheapest possible manner to give... Well, let, yeah, me, let yeah. me describe what I saw and people, people can decide for themselves well, whether they, they think it's um, comfortable mm -hmm. or not. Um, basically, you walk into this huge shed, it's got no natural lighting at all, the stench of the thing, the place is the first thing that hits you. Never. And I had a headache within seconds. Because of all the um, droppings from no, the no. hens, which are not cleaned out. Um, they're kept in these cages, which are about the size of a small microwave oven. Aye. And you could, you could fit about one hen in that, and she couldn't even stre stretch her wings. Now, but instead of that, they don't just keep one, they keep five hens in each cage. Indeed they do. They're on a sloping Indeed white floor, yes. so that the yes. eggs roll down. Cages just wire all around them. Now, these hens in the wild, the jungle fowl, which I've seen in places like Indian rainforests, Aye. they lay about 12 eggs in a year. Now, yes. these poor old hens in these cages have been so manipulated by human beings that they're laying 300 eggs a year. Well, you see, the, now, point, you see, the point is... Just this, let me finish what yes, I saw. Indeed, carry on, yeah, Milo. Just let me mm -hmm. what I saw. The, 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 because they're laying so many eggs in a year, they actually use the calcium from their bones in the shells. They leach out the calcium of the bones, and a third of these hens have got broken bones Never. at any one time. And this, this first farm I went in, I was in there for about now, the a, most wait, five wait minutes, minute, because I couldn't know, stand it, and I saw loads of dead just, hens in the cages. They hadn't bothered to move. Yes, and so that just, was when I first decided I'm not going to pay anybody to keep these animals in these conditions. Mm -hmm. And it was horrific. Yes. And everybody that went round there agreed it was truly the worst thing that they'd Never. ever seen. Well, you're, and I've you're, seen it you're, many, you're many times since then. You're going on, my dear, years. and you're very sincere. Young woman, as indeed you should be. You remind me of my wife in many instances. <laughs> but the battery house you went into, mm -hmm. there should be no smell whatsoever of droppings because there are fully automated, movable trays that take away the droppings 24 hours a day. And these happy hens, they're sitting all amongst their friends, chucking, why clucking it, to each other. Chuck, 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 <laughs> chuck. They're in an atmosphere, dear, of a balmy summer's day. No, They've that is not true They've got constant food. Well, why They've got constant water in mm. front of them. They've got a balanced diet, which contains mm. somewhere in the region about 14% protein. I don't want to bore you with technicalities. Mm -hmm. But the calcium in the food is enough to keep them happy. And today, Safeways, Sainsbury's, Asda, all the supermarkets, they want eggs, constant quantities of quality graded produce coming into their stores every day of the year. They want to keep the flow of food 
into the supermarket shelves constant. So you have to have a controlled constant environment. Now you're talking, my love, about the jungle fowl in the Indian rainforest. I mean, I've never seen an Indian rainforest, so I don't know. But I live up in North Northumberland, lovely little village called Sea Houses. I used to keep free range mm -hmm. hens. I used to keep well summers, Barney Veldes, White Wine Dots, Rhode Island Reds. And you know what happened come the end of September, right until the end of March? The wind was sweeping in from the North Sea. It was coming down from the Cheviots, blanched with rain. These poor hens huddling together. The majority of the food intake had to go to keep themselves warm. There was no eggs. We didn't get any eggs. And you can't satisfy supermarket orders if you haven't got any eggs. No, you, now, can't, you cannot satisfy... On the 17th of February, you've, a year you've, last you've, you've the 17th saying, of February, a terrible disaster struck my small flock of 27 hens. I got up one morning, <laughs> got the dog out, went up to the hen run, <clears throat> and do you know what was there? 17 decimated, destroyed carcasses that had been ravaged to death by Reynold the fox. And well, that's disease, natural. disease natural. hits them. Free, free range, yeah, free range good, hens, yes, yes. free range hens, they live a much more natural life. If you keep it's them genuinely, if you keep them genuinely... bitten off by a fox. Of course it's natural. That's what? the natural order of things, that well, foxes eat hens. Well, of course, we keep hens. the hunt going, you know, to keep the foxes down. But, but what is totally unnatural is to keep... Nowadays. What is totally unnatural mm -hmm. is to keep five hens to a cage where they cannot move, where they, can they, where they, they cannot move, happy, they yeah. cannot even stretch their wings, they're denied no, the most no, basic no. freedom. And more than that, if you just let me speak, oh, please sorry. don't yes, interrupt. Yes, carry on, my love. Um, yes, go where on, they, yes. Can't, they can't stretch their wings, mm -hmm. where they're fed an unnatural diet, yes, it gives them all the nutrients, but they still eat all the calcium out, they have broken bones, and then no. they're slaughtered in conditions. Let me tell you about slaughter. You say that slaughter is always humane. Yes, I, it I, is. I totally object to that because I know for a fact that it's almost never humane. Humane. You think about lambs going to slaughter. There was lovely what, there was, spring lamb. I had a joint of that. Just no, a you stand outside a slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even want to think about slaughter. They find it too horrific to even no, think about. No. You have to don't talk about. And the places that I've seen, there's a good reason for that. Every single slaughterhouse I've visited. How many slaughterhouses seen... have you visited, my dear, and where were they, and under whose regulations were they operating? One of the most recent that I saw was um, a slaughterhouse that's where? in the Potteries, in fact. Can I'm, you I'm name not it? No, I'm not going to name it for, for good reason. Well, um, I'll tell you why, because and each and every slaughterhouse and what is happens subject in those slaughterhouses, to the most stringent regulations What happens in those slaughterhouses is that animals like sheep, lambs, cows, pigs, they're supposed to be made unconscious before they're hung upside down by the back leg, they go along a conveyor belt and then they have the throat slit. What yes, happens yeah. all the time is that they're not made fully unconscious. Uh, 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 all the time, thumb, dear, They're hung all upside the down, no, they go to have the throat is, slit while they know exactly what's happening to them. True, there was a study done actually by true. the government on 10,000 lambs Can and sheep. Can you quote this study, please? Of course. What's its title? Um, it now was published. It was published in one of the veterinary journals. Can we have the and title? If, if you want the title, contact Viva. It's the charity that I run, and, and you see, it's all referenced. It's so easy to anyway, say there, there was a report, and then you can't quote the that, title. There was ten thousand sheep at forty slaughterhouses throughout the UK. Never. The reason that they were looking at this is yes. because they wanted to find out whether sheep indeed were unconscious when they had the throat slit. And they are. And they found that almost in every single case, they were not. There's a reason for this. Sheep, they put like tongs on either side of the head. They're supposed to put yeah. an electric shock through the brain. What the slaughterman does, they do not hold it on either side of the brain for long enough. So the sheep falls over, it's paralysed, but I'm it's still fully I'm conscious. Afraid, you know it my, is then you know hung upside idea. down by the back leg and it goes along the conveyor belt. The slaughterman then slits the throat. Now what this study said was that because the sheep was only paralysed, the, the electric shock wasn't strong enough or but, held on the head long enough don't know what to make the sheep is. unconscious went along the um, conveyor belt and they knew everything that was happening to them. Now some of the worst and most awful sights I've ever seen in my life, one that I will never ever aye, forget, aye. was a cow 
that knew everything that was happening to her, totally fully conscious, she was struggling on the How conveyor belt. You know? They slit her throat and then the slaughterman actually hacked her leg off and threw it away. Well, I'll tell laughing. you what you should have you done, say, my dear. If you anomaly, saw the, if you, you can say saw this doesn't this happen very often, dear, but every animal welfare organization it authorities. was reported. Every animal welfare organization has seen this, has videoed it, and it's so easy to see. One of the other things, the worst thing I've ever seen was in live exports. Well, I've had there what, was a bull forty five on a, years on a, on a, on a boat. And a bull who is going abroad. And the things um, you are recounting here to, France to me, my and to dear, Holland, they go across strike all time. me as pure and adulterated fiction, if I may say it's so. It's not fiction. I've seen it with my now, own let eyes. Me say Why this? do you think that I went vegetarian? I used to enjoy meat. That's I went vegetarian my dear, because I've seen you are obviously a sincere myself. young woman. I am sincere and because I've seen awful things. I don't mind you being things. a vegetarian. Good luck to you. I had a plate of muesli for me breakfast this morning. I have vegetarian dishes from time to time. But what I do enjoy most of all, Sundays, when my wife opens the arger, brings out the roasting tin, and in it is a three rib of roast beef with the roast beautiful roast BSE beef. BSE with the bloody juices no, and no, the no. antibiotics There's and the been more people yes, lovely, to death lovely. by donkeys in Blackpool <laughs> than have suffered any ill effects from enjoying a rich, rare rib of beef. And we take that out, my dear, and I get hold of the crust of a whole meal loaf. Now, there's a nice vegetarian thing, a whole meal loaf, the crust. And I get the crust and I put it round in all that rich, lovely brown gravy. It's true that many people have that, haven't, you know, haven't, and I've just haven't come back from BSE church yet. as well. But many people more Wash die. It down what people with a are glass dying of, of with too many animal products is heart disease and cancers. Well, did, look did at you me, know, my dear. Did you know? I'm, I'm 69. Did you know that even and our I government has, said that, has that said that if people go vegetarian, they'd reduce the cancer medical bill by half? Absolute rubbish. It's not rubbish. You cannot say that. My good friend, um, Dr. Ian Chalk, eating too much meat and eating too many dairy products causes cancers we both cancers, enjoy our wine and it causes heart disease you know why no. because it clogs up the arteries and the blood it puts the pressure on the heart and it causes a heart attack well most, I should I should people, be due to go down with a heart attack here and there. well you probably will in well, the, I'm way, indeed, you know, then the wife will collect the going insurance. on the way that you are no 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 what I'm talking about is, is the general Red population I may have it's, said it's, that it's before. easy Excellent. it's easy to dismiss Healthy people's life. pain and suffering but if you know someone with heart no, disease not. they go up the stairs they can't breathe, they don't oh, feel I... fit. And most people actually have it within the power, oh, I... within their own hands, to diminish that suffering. If you eat a diet that's high in things like fresh fruit and fresh veg and all the other wonderful vegetarian products... But you can products, eat that as well, do you? Hang on. You I've can... just consumed half a bowl of hang fruit on, in the dressing room here. You can reduce. You can, Clums, you can stop the clogging of your arteries. You can reduce that pain. But meat and dairy products actually cause that pain. They kill you I early, you, too young. I don't think there's anything wrong with my heart. And you don't need to eat I'm it. Look, you don't need to eat meat. You can be perfectly healthy on meat. a vegetarian diet. A lovely, what I'm talking about, a most, lovely leg of most lamb. people, you dismiss the cruelty and the suffering. You say it doesn't exist. But because most people, pheasant. most people want to be compassionate. They want to care. They don't want to see animals being cruelly but I'm treated. Compassionate, dear. Just let me tell you Put something me else. In a garden with so you're not compassionate. I'm just, I'm you're not compassionate. You're not compassionate. You're not compassionate. I am you're compassionate. You, you cannot be. I don't I'm think a family man. I've I don't got a little think, boy of four years of age. I don't think, Young for Joseph. some reason, you managed to cut off cruelty to animals. That, for I whatever reason. For whatever any. reason. Let me give you another example of something that truly moved me to the very core. Aye. There was oh. a bull going across on live export and he'd broken his pelvis. You want to watch bulls are dangerous. This went on national television, in fact, and rocked the whole nation. And we we'll believe everything he'd, he'd, we see on national telly. <laughs> oh, you think they deliberately broke this bull's pelvis? I, the didn't, bull, I don't know. If I, don't I can just. Know. Oh just finished. Yes, on, the bull was on, on the boat, no. broken his pelvis, he couldn't move, so he was uh -huh. trying to get up onto his front legs. The men who were trying to move him used electric shocks on his testicles to move him. They hey. went on for half an well, hour doing this. That would be very painful. 30 minutes of this bull crying out in absolute yes. agony. But where and was this, this goes done? On, was this done in England? This goes on day in, was day out. Was it done in England? This, this happened to British animals was going out to France, in England? to, to um, Spain, to it Egypt, not to Greece, done and to Asia. This country. This what is absolute in Asia? nonsense. What They're in British Africa? animals. Knows. These I don't are British know. animals going out. You cannot say what? It doesn't happen in Britain. Where British slaughterhouses are cruel. Dear? Another example where of British. Did it, where good, did old, it good old Britain. It was an, a boat going out from Britain out yes, to Greece. Yes, but from which port 
What date? It's Who irrelevant. Was it's, it's irrelevant. It was a British I can, animal. I can it was make a British any sort animal. of blanket statement. If, if you want if to If I stop. say I've broken a bull's leg, I've got to say what sort of it's bull pelvis. it was, where that bull's leg was broken, and why and how it was broken. And this just would not happen in this country. Oh, this is nonsense. The whole transport of just, animals just in about, this country. Just about everybody knows that live transport of animals the is incredibly the cruel, cruel that it's union. not regulated at all. It's totally unregulated. We people connected with the food industry, dear, we're not a bunch of sadists. Well, we're a kindly bunch. Farmer you're not a kindly figures. bunch. You're not. If you're into money. You want to make money at well, every last thing. You do not care money. about human health. Hence BSE. You do not I care about human health. Dough. You do not care about animals. I'm not a you do not care family. about the environment. Of course For we animal don't. farmers have ripped up the British hedgerows enough to cover the earth. Four times over, they've destroyed 90% the of our ponds, they've destroyed all our forests. Four times over. They've destroyed they're the major polluters of water in the world. And they use most of the water. There are billions see, of getting, farm animals. I'm getting Excuse a me, sense of conscience a now, dear, because L listen, I don't for one like second. sort of putting the truth to you I like don't want this. To talk over I'd you, like to sort of convert you, open your eyes to mm. see the realities of the food production. That's food the problem. Process. My eyes have been opened. Oh, dear me, they but you've seen opened. some false prophets in this business. You honestly have. I'll tell you what we do when we finish this program. I'll take you out and let's have a nice rump steak a piece or two or three pork chops with some roast potatoes and all right we'll have some green beans some spinach and spaghetti and we'll wash it down with a good bottle of Beaujolais eating of meat it destroys the environment on mass it's cruel how to does animals. it destroy the, the it, animals it's cruel to animals void, and it they destroys void health. manure and there Whatever we get the say, natural manure to put back if the there money. wasn't any animals <laughs> there wouldn't and, be any natural manure and you, you don't care you don't care about the welfare of those animals because if you did you would make less money out of them not that's not all it comes down to at the end of the day factory farming is about making money out of animals it is cruel and it is disgusting and nothing Factory production nothing. of sparking plugs is after making money out of the motor industry. They Factory are not living creatures Factory with farming feelings. Is they are an not living, term. feeling, sentient it is creatures. Intensive, kindly livestock production. Nothing is kind about a caging animals and, and not allowing them any freedom. Compassion, my dear. No compassion. Compassion in farming. It's institutionalized cruelty with no compassion. I'm at all. sorry, dear. I cannot really agree with you on that one. I can't really. It isn't. The farmer is possibly the last bastion of kindly compassion towards livestock that we have in this the country. The farmers show no compassion The British to farmer is the farmers, fault of the earth. Farmers send their animals to slaughter in the most inhumane, disgusting no, no, conditions. No. They send They're them not... to export to abroad no. to be killed no, no, in the no, most no. disgusting conditions. I have... And they keep them here in the most disgusting conditions. I have friends there are billions in the of animals, farm transport animals transport on this industry. planet. Yes. Land has to be used worldwide to grow feed for those animals. To do that, we have destroyed it's the forests. Used. We have destroyed our waterways. We have Which overfished the oceans. Have we destroyed? Half of the world's Which oceans. Which forests in England that, have we destroyed? Excuse me. Half of the world's oceans are on the point of environmental collapse because they have been yeah, overfished. I live on the shores of the you North Sea. Need, it's sea houses. There's no sign of the North Sea. In the sea North Sea, mackerel destroyed. cannot even be fished oh, anymore. Oh, boats floating in it while I'm away from it. Mackerel has been so overfished. There are none left in the Mackerel's North Sea. Mackerel's a dirty fish Can't, to eat anyhow. Cod is going to be extinct within five years Why? because we have overfished them. This is a terrible, frightening problem. We're destroying the ecology of the oceans just for We're what? The product we don't need to eat. Whatever you, you to farmers, destroy the ecology. Whatever you farmers you touch, you destroy. The ecology. You, you destroy the oceans, no, you destroy dear. the environment. No, no, You've no, destroyed no. the rainforest for beef cattle, for burgers. Where the, where you, the rain, you destroyed where over half of the rainforest of the earth. You're where? destroying the waterways. Did where you know, are these, where are these Did rainforests? you know that the major waterways of the earth are almost dried up because they're being fed, they're being used to water Can animals? Could have there's been floods in something. Spain that have swept away caravan you know, something parts. that really worries that me. Wasn't it's, dried it up. sounds terribly the dramatic. The Ganges in India, where I believe there are rainforests, are dried up. Floods they're dried up. Yeah. Due to, they're drying up. Because the great they rivers don't, of the world. They don't initiate they a use, program of conservation of water resources. Because they are drawing, destroying the land to grow feed to feed to farm animals, which people then eat. Which farm if animals? If we continue to do this, there will be no 
Just, well, there will be no waterways left, there will be no forests left. You've got it wrong, my dear. Listen, honestly. I am the director of Viva, a national charity. I've if never heard of Viva, quite honestly. More about this, I mean, I could say I'm a seventh-day Adventist Because it, 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 these whatever, issues are so vital, of they're course so they important, are. and people and it's have very to good. do something it's about it. It's very good that young Going women like you have a conscience. Going vegetarian is a positive step. You've got to have a conscience. It's a positive step about saving the environment, Saving animals and saving your own health. But it's only by it listening. It's vital it's only people, by listening it's vital to people, people stand like up myself and listen and actually who do something. Are kindly, who will save listen the to the other person's point of view. But you're not listening. You listen to me, my dear. You're not listening I'm to not anything. saying I'm a hundred percent right. I'm probably ninety nine point nine percent right, my dear. But We'll have a chat later on. No, and you, I'll you attempt, have spent, I'll attempt you to spent let this you entire see program. just how kindly and compassionate, I'm using those two words again, well, you're not. the whole of the British food industry is. Believe me, it is. You're a man dear. that agrees with battery farming. Almost all of Britain disagrees with you. You, the, you are a cruel the, man. You agree with cruelty. You're no, not I, compassionate. I don't think I am. I wouldn't say I was a cruel Anybody man. Anybody who agrees with I caging not animals all. like that. The animals, they, does not the have hens, a they're comfortable. They're sitting does not, there. They're not comfortable. Going, oh, Why oh, do so many oh, die oh, in oh, the cages then? Oh. Why do they peck each other to death? Because they're frustrated and the board. Why do you chop their beaks off when they're chicks? Well, I didn't know we did chop other? the beaks off quite Well, frankly. it seems it happens throughout the industry. You don't know Does much about really? the own oh, industry, well, do I'm, you? I'm, I'm always open. I'm always open to learn something, <laughs> they de dear. You're never too old to learn. They de-beak the birds. But if you want because eggs they, 365 of days second. of the year... I don't year. want eggs 365 days Yeah, but a lot of people do. The customers of the supermarkets do. I don't think people do want do. eggs treated in such cruel conditions. I really don't well, think people do. Once they know the truth, How are you going to get the eggs from the free... I mean, we keep coming back to these chickens. How do you get the eggs from the free range? Flocks of 360. How do you get eggs at Christmas from them when the north, north wind's blowing up their backsides? I don't you know see what they do? Can. They chop through their beaks. It's called de-beaking. And oh, the, the right, beak, right. they used to say it's just like the nail. They don't feel anything. Well, it is quite But it's not. It's, it's the it's, same it's, horn. It's not. It's actually, it's, it's got the most, it's the most sensitive organ of the well, bird. Well, I'd, I'd like to... Excuse me. Have you got because any it qualifications? Got, it has got the nerve endings in has the it? beak. Oh. It's a sensitive organ. They yes. use it to find food Aye. and all the rest of it. And they chop right through the nerve Never. endings. Those chicks, a lot of them die of shock and they die of bleeding. This I've never heard of a chicken British dying from shock but through having its beak. Even uh, the top the, even, beak protrudes slightly over the, the bottom Even the British beak. government's they do, own they Animal Welfare bit. Council has said that it's wrong and it should uh -huh. be banned, yeah. but it still has not been. This happens well, every then, day. If let's, you think it should let's look be, at something else. Let's initiate look at the legislation through Parliament and let Parliament decide, not bigoted pressure groups like yourself. And who do you think puts the pressure on to stop this cruelty if not pressure groups? But you've got who to, do if you, think you tells do it, the British if you do it truth, in a democratic, if you do it in a democratic way, that's Do you think enough. the farmers but are going to tell these, the public I'll the truth? I tell you this, the farmers don't go to the streets and go around rampaging and knackering about and breaking into butcher's shops like some of these pressure groups that are uh, animal welfare people do. No, what they farmers do. The physical violence. I mean, look how they attack the poor, the poor huntsmen who are keeping down the foxes. That's absolutely nonsense. Graceful. What farmers do are physically violent to animals. They're what not. you do is disgusting, quite I've, frankly. Look, I've got look a dog, at, I've got two a, cats, I had a spaniel, you know, a gun else, dog. Something else that made me Wonderful go vegetarian animal. and I've stay vegetarian. Cruel, it all. Something else that made me go vegetarian and stay. What's I wanted to. A couple of pig units, and I went yeah. to one very recently, actually about four months ago. Aye. A place owned, in fact, it's a show place used Is for it? farmers. Yes. You went in there, these pigs are kept in this huge shed, and they're in these narrow stalls. They're about two inches away from each other, but they cannot touch now, each other. Now, how long ago was this? Because the best way, they, the they, best way to keep pigs... If I could just describe what yes, I've seen, instead of talking over me all the time... Is in large Excuse me, let me large at least speak. You might not like the truth, but at least want to, to tell two foot, three what foot I've of seen. Straw. That now, is not the way they're produce, kept. These pigs how you couldn't, the best couldn't turn round. Couldn't even turn round. Never. Some of them couldn't lie down. They're kept there throughout the pregnancy. These are the breeding stock. Yes. When they have the, the piglets... Have you ever considered it might they, be they're because into the pregnant sow needs supporting? Needs oh, supporting. Oh, my goodness me. And this is a kindness to the so pregnant sow. So if you kept, you kept a pregnant if it dog wasn't, in a tiny cage, it, it you'd it say roll you're over supporting the dog. We need to support to it. To its lovely little this piglet that could roll over and nonsense. squash them to death. Absolute and nonsense. And that would be cruel, my dear. The reason that you do it is to keep as many pigs as possible 
possible in the smallest space of possible and make as much money as possible out of those animals. The way you that keep is the pigs, only reason you, you do it. You keep pigs in as natural environment as possible. I say in yards with straw, you keep them happy. Hardly any pigs are kept like that. The pigs that I know are, and they're happy, grunty little animals, and they've got their own little dunging pens outside. And they have a very, very happy you life. Know, pigs are very sociable Johnny, animals, they? don't you? I mean, um, that pigs are very sociable pigs are. animals. Some people even keep Vietnam pot I know, pigs. as pets. I mean, they might keep Vietnam pot belly Bill Weeks as pets, but uh, I don't think you would, do you? They're very but, sociable, well, they're they intelligent, yes, they're, they're highly intelligent. If you like, if you like them going around the house, I mean, I prefer to have our little Jack Russell <laughs> Terrier now, a two pussycat. Well, you prefer your dog because um, you like to think, well, let's make as much money out of farm animals and kill them and treat them the way well, we want. You, well, I don't want to do that to my dog, but what I'm saying is. Dear. What I'm saying is I there's no difference really between your dog and that pig. Why on well, the one is, hand I mean, the, the why pig's got a snout that goes oink, 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 and our Jack Russell that goes bow wow, bow wow when I go in. But there is a bit of diff I mean, if you kind of tell the difference between a dog think, and a pig, dear, I think some I think of your other ideas might be slightly somewhat missing the point, a variance. Here. Slightly missing the point. What well, I'm trying uh, to say is that a dog is an intelligent animal, very sociable. So if you kept that, if you kept, exactly, if you kept that dog in a small cage throughout its pregnancy, yeah. denied it any freedom, it couldn't even lie down standing in its own film our dog throughout its life well, thank God you it would be prosecuted yet because, you would uh, be prosecuted for cruelty wouldn't you yes indeed of course and, you would. and so would do the, the farmer same, who's do the same doing to the what you're saying do the same to the pig and that is just are, that is just accepted as normal because it's just institutionalized look I don't think that factory to, farming the farmer should has to conform, be even legal or conform I should say to the most rigorous cruelty anti-cruelty regulations and the inspectors can walk into any farm any time of the day and night and have a look at the ways in which these animals are kept and most of them are kept in very, very comfortable, happy conditions. No, they're not. They're kept in disgusting conditions. I don't, I don't think so, dear. I mean, I've had a lot of experience going on That is why, why, do, you, why do you think so many people are giving up meat? Why do you think there are so many millions of vegetarians don't, in I honestly don't. I really don't know. Uh, quite frankly, it certainly hasn't affected our family. It's I because people are opening their eyes to the reality of modern farming. They oh, do not know, want to be cruel to animals. Also, they don't want to jeopardise their own health or the environment. But they're that not jeopardising their own health. They're of not jeopardising they the environment. Of course they are. I mean, you get protein from a meat animal, from an animal, meat, yes. It contains all the amino acids needed for healthy life. Now, if you're going to have it, can I pour that out for you, my dear? I'm not such a monster as you like to pour. Could you pour right, me one, please? Course. That's very kind of you. I mean, if you're going to have a vegetarian diet, you've got to say, have two different types of vegetables and eat them together to get the balance of amino acids you need to build up a proper protein framework for all the things that protect you get you, all the, all the things amino that acids you need in meat all the things that protect your health from about 60 or so diseases uh -huh. are in fresh fruit and fresh vegetables but you, meat not, doesn't protect your health no, no, no. it causes cancers I'm, I'm and not, it causes heart diseases not, it's one of the biggest killers in the entire world and people are just beginning to realize I'm not, this I'm not, I'm i didn't go I'm vegetarian not, uh, because of health yeah, yeah. but having worked for viva and looked at all the medical papers almost throughout the world you come how to the can you look at all the medical papers from throughout the world you make because, these blanket statements because what they, i'm saying is we, i don't object to you being a vegetarian Vegetarian. Because as a I national organisation, we get hold I of love these eating papers. vegetables, no. and I also eat meat. I wouldn't try and say to you, "You must give up eating vegetables. You must I'm give not, up eating fruit. I'm not and you've got to you, have a meat-only diet." I'm not telling you you must do anything. I'm just saying accept the truth. It, the no, truth, you my cannot, dear, you is a very nebulous thing. Forever. Adolf so Hitler thought is. he had a uh, thought he had a uh, had the truth. I mean, look, you. I I always like to look at any argument in a simple, dispassionate manner. You have made money. The pros you and make the money out of farming down. animals, so you are not going to accept the truth no matter what, what that truth what? is. Sorry? You've made money out of farming animals, so you won't oh, accept yeah, the truth. Oh, yeah, I've made money out of farming animals. You're bound not to accept the truth. But there was a study in the mm -hmm. USA, the government, the US government has now accepted. They said vegetarians and what, enjoy... what is this study, my dear? They, Who's published oh, it? Oh, I'm about to tell you. If yeah, you all right, stop interrupting every yes, yes. second, it's mm -hmm. painful. Um, well, I, of course, the they, truth they look, sometimes looked. They looked at over... Well, that's why you won't let me speak. They looked at over 100 <laughs> studies Touché, and they found that um, vegetarians get up to 57% less heart disease, they get up to 50% less of all the cancers. Do they really? Yes, they do. I mean, well, this is quite whatever staggering. you say, my staggering. dear, I'm still sticking to me beef 
bread what's and me burgundy. You stick to whatever you want. No, you stick to whatever you want, but don't try and stop people from finding out the truth. Don't I'm not. You the more are. They attempt to you're find putting out, out the deliberate truth, disinformation. The better it is, and the more they'll come down and support my constructive arguments and criticism. To tonight's 10x10 10 10 film is a disturbing and graphic portrait that draws a fine line between the hunter and the hunted.